welcome to escape by tan we'll be importing some video into lens studio right so this is the video that i'm trying to import into lens studio let me open it there you go that is the video that i'm trying to import and there is a 10 step process that you need to follow to import it right so pay attention right so here's what you're gonna do there are some things that you need to keep in mind if you go to lens studio documentation there are some specification that you need to follow in order to import a video into lens studio the first thing being the file format has to be in mp4 right yeah, it does not support quicktime as far as i know so far the encoding has to be in h.264 or avc if you are rendering it uh, make sure you have this set in your codec the size of the video needs to be less than 10 mb keep that in mind when you're rendering your video and if you have already rendered it i'll let you know how you can compress it later in the video and the last thing that you need to keep in mind is a little complicated that is the resolution of the video the resolution of the video has to be in the multiples of 16 with 2080 by 2080 being the maximum resolution that is allowed in lens studio at the moment right so what does that mean for example you take 1920 by 1080 you divide 1920 by 16 divide 1080 by 16 and see if those are divisible for example 1080 is not divisible by 16 so that video wouldn't work so what you need to do is find the nearest resolution that works for example i'll put some examples on the screen right here somewhere that you can use while rendering your video and if you have already rendered a video in a different format in a different resolution that is fine we can resize it as per our need here are two tools that i use to optimize my videos for lens studio right the first tool that i use is the video compressor by video.io don't even need an account for it it allows up to 1 gb of free upload and then you can compress the video you want so once you upload a video to video.io you can see that it allows you to adjust your quality of compression so you can adjust the target size based on the size you're aiming for the second tool that i use is canva it is basically for resizing my videos and if it is it's the square video in the first place so what i do is i go in I do custom size and as you can see i've already done it a couple of times type in 1024 or 1280 something that is a multiple of 16 and then i download it and if you have a video that needs resizing and also compression you can just resize it in canva because it will also compress your video at the same time yeah that seems to work for me and before you leave so now that you have resized your video and compressed your video and now it's in lens studio all you need to do is assign it as a texture to an image object or a screen image for example here's a screen image i'll just drag and drop it into the texture and it'll just start auto playing and you can use behavior scripts video scripting or just plain scripting to adjust the play pause and stop of the video and here's an example of an image object and that is all i'll see you in the next video bye